everybody. How you doing out there? This is your Uncle Steve here on Uncle Steve's Lounge. Don't forget to subscribe. Push the little button. Doesn't cost you a dime. Help your brother out. Get us more content on the channel so we can bring what the Falcon fan wants for the 2022 season. I was asked by a friend of mine about what is the allure of the Atlanta Falcons, New Orleans Saints rivalry. Obviously in the National Football League, they play up a lot of, you know, Dallas, Washington, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and all the other alleged rivals in the league. But down here, and I mean down south, the Atlanta-New Orleans rivalry is definitely the one that kind of stokes a lot of fires. Even folks in Alabama and Mississippi, trust me, they get into it just as well. Your aunt got into it back in 1978. And I remember it fondly because my mom and dad always used to take a trip to these Falcon Saints games. And of course, being a little younger, not only were we mad we weren't able to go, but we were also very excited to know why uh, there was this, you know, just thing between the two teams. Well, of course, both teams came into the league within a year of each other. So that's one thing to start. And then, of course, uh, geographically at that time, probably was the closest team uh, to Atlanta, Atlanta and New Orleans. Yes, there was a team in Miami, if you go back down south. But up north, there was no Carolina then. There was no Tennessee then. So really, when you're looking at it, the Atlanta Falcons Saints were all we had. But 1978, November 12th. Uh, the Falcons were just coming off the 1977 season where we uh, broke broken record for least points allowed in a 14-game season. And then we moved on to 1978 where they added two more games. Well, the Falcons still had a pretty good defense, but now had just started to add the offense. And we went down to New Orleans to play our rivals. With 19 seconds left, the Falcons sat back close to midfield, down 17-13 against the Saints. And our quarterback then, Steve Barkowski, was there. And for a long time, coming out of California, uh, his forte was the long ball, the deep ball. And we hadn't really had a chance to see it that much in his first couple of years because, one, he was injured, and two, he didn't have a good team. But this particular game... He did what we call now in history of the Falcons, Big Ben Wright. And what Big Ben Wright was, he lined up three receivers on one side of the field and threw the ball up for grabs, basically a Hail Mary, uh, so to speak. Uh, 19 seconds left, threw the ball up in the air, as high as it can go. All the receivers went up, ball got tipped up, and out of nowhere, Alfred Jackson gets the ball, runs into the end zone. There to me, right there, was where the fires were stoked and the Falcons-Saints rivalry truly began. Falcons went on to win that game 20-17 to and also went on to secure their first playoff berth in 1978. Now, since then, we've had a number of games with the Saints where the Falcons have um, had some memorable moments and not so memorable moments. Of course, uh, going on to the next couple of years, that 2017 theme played itself out, whether the Falcons were winning or New Orleans were winning for the next couple of years. Of course, we know about the playoff game, the only playoff game played in Atlanta Falcons and Saints history, where the Falcons came out on top in that particular game and went on to um, play the eventual World Series, World Series, <laughs> the NFL uh, champs uh, at that time, the Washington Redskins back in 1991 season. Then later on, we had uh, the block punt from Russell Ertzleben where the Falcons won in overtime 40 to 34. Uh, Falcons fans don't need to be reminded about the great block from uh, Steve Gleason uh, when the dome was reopening back from the horrors of uh, Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina. And New Orleans just went on to roll. And pretty much from that point on, it was kind of a dominance 
of the Atlanta Falcons, quite honestly, from that moment. Now, the Falcons have had some good moments in between there. Uh, we had the moment the year after the Saints won the Super Bowl where we had an overtime game. Saints drove all the way inside 10. Falcons uh, <laughs> were left to let the guy kick a 21-yard field goal, and he shanked it. Falcons went on to win that game, and I believe that was 2009, either 2008 or 2009 we won that game. Uh, the rivalry between Michael Vick and his cousin Aaron Brooks uh, kept us pacified for the early part of the 2000s era. Atlanta still had a little bit of dominance uh, then into that part. And then, of course, leading into the uh, rivalry between Matt Ryan and Drew Brees. And though it was kind of one-sided, I must admit, on the Saints' part, uh, most of the games were pretty exciting with uh, New Orleans just having that extra oomph to uh, beat the Falcons during that era, the Sean Payton, Drew Brees era. Uh, we, again, Falcons have had their moments, of course, in 2017 when the first year of the Benz opening, uh, Deion Jones uh, secured the victory in the end zone with a pickoff of Drew Brees. The beginning of the 2016 season, where Deion Jones, again, had a star moment where he intercepted Drew Brees, ran it back, and, and that was, uh, I think that's the last year we swept him, 2016. Went on to win 45-31, to 31, if, if memory serves me correct, in that game. So, again, a lot of rivalry, a lot of things to reminisce about during the Falcons-Saints rivalry. At this moment, the Falcons are up 54 to. 52 in the rivalry and this year in 2022 marks a stark difference uh, for both teams because this is the first time since 2008 that neither Matt Ryan nor Drew Brees will be the starting quarterback going into a rival game. So pretty much a new era in this particular rivalry. I look forward to seeing it on Sunday I'll be here on Sunday evening to talk about it and how it goes on that Sunday afternoon. Hopefully the fans are stoked. I know I am stoked. Uh, new era of the Falcons, pretty much a new era for the Saints. Should be exciting. The rivalry should be on fire. So make sure you join us Sunday evening to talk about it here in Uncle Steve's Lounge. We'll give you a post game and hopefully come out with a big victory against those New Orleans Saints. Until then, this is your Uncle Steve here talking to you. You guys enjoy the week. Look out for more comments and, and content about this game and more in the 2022 season. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Uncle Steve's Lounge. Tell your friends. We'll catch you guys on the other side. Take care. Peace.